So I was having a hard time with my HDR 10 plus recordings. Um, they're kind of large and I wanted to shrink them down. I tried this fast flicks and it's Python based, which is okay. Um, I don't have Python in this machine. When I did install it and tried to run this, it did not run. Um, I probably just have the wrong version of Python. Um, anyway, uh, so I just put together uh, some scripts for, um, using every resource on the internet. And in this folder, so I have MKV merge, HDR 10 plus tool, um, FFmpeg, uh, Dolby Vision tool is not needed. Um, for HDR 10 plus Dolby Vision is one I'll do. I'll do a different video on that one. So I created this bat file instead of doing command line every single time I wanted to change a file because I'm doing the, the whole Halo series, nine episodes. Um, it gets tedious. So um, we'll take a look at the bat file. It first just finds anything called MKV. So you would just drop whatever file you want into the same folder, as long as it's an MKV. Um, that will rename it to big.mkv and then it will shrink big.mkv to small HEVC. Uh, I've got it set uh, a kind of a variable bit rate at six megs a second, 6,000 kilobits a second, kilobytes a second. Um, some probably would want that a little higher. I think it looks fine. Um, I'm not a purist, but uh, probably 10 or 12 is some more like what a what somebody would say would be the minimum. I think it looks fine though. Test it. You could just, all you gotta do is just change this to whatever number you want and you'll get bigger files. Uh, then it's going to extract the HDR 10 plus metadata from the big.mkv file. And that's going to create the metadata JSON file. And then it's going to inject the metadata file into the small.hevc file. And it's going to create an injected output HEVC file. And let's see, then it's going to combine everything. Is that right? No, what is it? This is going to, yeah, it is. It's going to create the HEVC. It's going to combine everything using MKV merge. Oh, yeah, that's right. So using MKV merge, it's going to combine uh, everything from big MKV except for the video. And it's going to uh, use the video from the injected output file. And it's going to create the new HDR 10 plus video and audio. After that, you just need to rename it and move it to whatever folder you want. Um, and it's going to rename big.mkv to um, old HDR 10 plus video, just so you know what's what. Um, I could run the command so it would rename it exactly what it was before or call it exactly what it was before old and also have this named the same as the input file, but that's just more command line that I don't really need to worry about. And it pro I'd probably have to rename it anyway. So once you've got everything in this folder, your file, which we'll take a look at, is right here, HDR 10 plus profile. And let's see, that's, it's got surround sound and a few subtitles. All right, so we'll just run our HDR 10 plus complete bat. And so it's already renamed 
our MKV to big.mkv. And now it is shrinking using our NVIDIA 1050, which is, that's what's in my Surface Book 2 here. Uh, speed of about four times uh, frames per second, maybe around 100. It should speed up in a minute. And here's your quality, and somewhere around 20 is usually, I think, fine. Uh, Purist is going to want around 26 or something like that. Um, get yourself some small files and try out your different settings. But honestly, I think it looks great at this size. So we can see we're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds into the video right now. And up here, we should see... How long? Okay, the duration of this is 48 minutes and 19 seconds. So we can kind of get an average idea of how long this is going to take. And it's going to be about 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll come back after that. All right, we're coming up on the end here. Yeah, took about 15, well, I don't know, 15 minutes, I guess. But you can see 4x speed, it's a 48 minute video, so it's going to be over a little over 10 minutes. Um, I'm re my recording says I've been going for 15 minutes, but I was, I didn't start it right away, so who knows. Um, I've got this error up here, VSync is depreciated, so it's not even using this line of code right here, which is probably not necessary. If I take it out, it should just use same as source. Uh, so I'll be I'll take that line out. I just uh, basically copy and pasted most of this stuff um, from other places, trying to figure out how to make this work. It never did really get any faster. Still doing 98 frames a second. For this little laptop, it's not bad, though. So next, it's going to just quickly move right on to extracting the metadata from big.mkv. That usually doesn't take very long. It does that at about 80 times the speed of the video and that's all dependent on how fast your processor is that's not going to have anything to do with the gpu which is what we needed to get this kind of speed on my i think this is an eighth gen i5 So it's moved on now. It's reordering the metadata that it pulled. Creating the JSON file. Processing the JSON file. Rewriting the HEVC file. I'm sorry the sound is bad. I'm in a room with a bunch of servers, so it's pretty loud behind me. So now MKV merge is running and it's just again taking the all the everything except the video from the original file and muxing it with the HEVC video file that it has shrunk or made from the bigger file at a smaller size. And it's done. And key to continue. I put that in there just to see if there were any errors. And I have had an error and it actually couldn't, it, it would uh, fail 
and I have no idea why, and I rebooted and it was fine after that. So who knows? And so now if we go back to our folder, we've got our old five gig file and our new two gig, two and a half gig file. And we'll check the media info. And we've still got our HDR 10 plus. And I don't even have a TV that can play that, but I'm putting all this together in anticipation for getting a TV that can play all of that. So now I'll delete that and I'll move this to my uh, season folder for Halo and rename it to the right episode number. And that should do it. Hope you liked it.